Hello and welcome back. In this video, we're going to be working with a module called Glob. That's the way I've always pronounced it. It uh, comes standard with Python, uh, but you do have to import it in its functions. It's probably one of the most common functions that you're going to use when you have to work with multiple files, be them text files or JSON files or, you know, whatever you have. So I'm going to show you real fast how to work with it. And what it does is it allows you to iterate across all of the text files in a folder or any file in a folder. So you don't have to keep on calling each individual file. And it stores them as a list. And so we're going to go through and do this right now. So we're going to import glob. And all we're going to do is we're going to create an object. And we're going to make that equal to glob.glob. .glob, and we're going to pass in uh, the folders that are in this file over here called sample files sample underscore files I'm gonna do backslash backslash and uh, anything that I want to get in there so in this case I have two text files random one and random two they just have one line because it's the concept that matters not the content so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use an asterisk dot txt what that's going to tell uh, glob to do to grab all files in that folder that are text files. Now, if we were working with JSON files, we would say .json, but we're working with text files. So we're gonna say that. So what we're gonna do is we're going to demonstrate first what this looks like. So let's just print off files. And if you see down here, we can see that uh, it is just essentially a list of files. Just like I said, that's what the object is. So we can do things like this now for file and files. We can print off file and we can print off each one of these in this list or the way in which you're going to use this more often is to say um, for file and files uh, with open file uh, and we're going to say uh, we're going to just say r right now as file uh, as f uh, we will say f dot read uh, lines and then you can do something along the lines of for oh we're going to create an object there uh, line equals that for nope, lines, that's the Pythonic way to do it, for line and lines, print line. And then when you can go through and kind of see what's happening here, you can see that it's printed off both of those lines, hello from random and hello or bye from random too. And just to demonstrate what's happening here, so we can kind of go through the whole loop. Uh, now you can see in that file, it has that. And in that file, it has that. Now, this is a very simple application of this very powerful function. Um, but as you can see, once you know these two basic ways of uh, kind of structuring file structures and calling them with the glob function, you can see that you can do a whole bunch of different things. Um, so you don't have to keep on getting a list of all of your files and in a directory. You can just kind of go through and iterate across all of them. So that's the glob function. Uh, I encourage you to work with it. Get used to it. You're going to be using this in all of your DH projects and any time that you have a directory that has a bunch of files that you have to go through. So that's all for now. Thanks for listening.